Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a video reviewing the Il Maquillage Foundation and Concealer. I, I have seen advertisements for this on Pinterest for a while now. And in case you don't know, this is the way cookies work, okay? I was an advertising major in college, all right? If you click on it once and show your interest, you're gonna start seeing that advertisement more. And across social media platforms too. It's like at first I was only seeing it on Pinterest. Clicked on the ad on Pinterest and it's like, oh, but there it is on Instagram. And what do you know, there it is on Facebook and now on YouTube. That's the way advertising works, y'all. So, I wanted to review these two today because they kind of have been everywhere. It's an interesting concept. You go online, you take a quiz, and according to Il Maquillage, they can match you based on your quiz answers to your perfect foundation, shade, and formula. And the same with the concealer. The foundation is like their big like driving home product. Like that's what they really push though, okay? So, I wore this a couple of days. I applied it a couple of different ways. So, you get in this video quite a few tips. You're welcome. That you didn't even ask for. That you didn't even know you were coming here for, right? But, if you want to know my opinion on the Il Maquillage foundation and concealer and how they wear and are they worth it and did they do a good job with match and all my thoughts on the things then just keep watching. So I just got this in the mail today. Packaging looks like this, it's all black. The sticker says more is more. That is so my life. Today is Saturday and I ordered this I believe on Tuesday. So shipping was relatively fast. Especially now when shipping times are delayed because of COVID. So when you open the mailer, you have the black box that looks like this. It says Il Maquillage, a nice foil. Ooh, it's hot pink on the inside, how cute. Okay, the inside has instructions. It says how it works. Step one, try the products. These products are yours for 14 days, starting on the day they were delivered. So from today, I have two weeks to try them. Step two, love it or return it. If you love them, keep them. If you shockingly don't, visit the website to download your return label and send back any returns within 14 days of delivery at the end of the trial you will only be charged for the products you keep awesome i really like this concept truthfully it's not much different than getting a sample of a foundation at any makeup counter the difference is the drive back there's a card and it says, over 75% of women get foundation wrong. Get yours right. Apply two pumps to your entire face, jaw, and neckline. Don't put foundation on your neck. That's gross. You get creases. Always. Step two, blend out with a brush or sponge, not by hand. Step three, wait five minutes for foundation to set before checking the shape. Step four, don't match your neck or wrist. They're a different tone than your face. Step five, finish your face with concealer, blush, and bronzer. Step six, wear for a full week to determine if it's perfect for you. Okay, so interesting fact. Step two says blend out with a brush or sponge, not by hand, but they also sent an email that had foundation tips and tricks to make this really work for you, and it specifically said not to use a sponge. It's a little contradictory there, but I'm going to use a sponge anyway just because I have watched videos about this foundation since I've ordered it, and it does 
tend to be a very matte foundation and my skin doesn't love that. So just to add a little extra hydration, I'm gonna use a sponge anyway. I did get the concealer and the foundation. They're both in here. This is a really nice package. Like I can appreciate that. Very luxe. And from what I can tell, everybody, regardless of your answers on the quiz that you take on the Il Maquillage website, matches to the woke up like this foundation. I don't know if they have another liquid foundation. So that's the foundation I match to. The woke up like this in the shade 60. So after you take the piece of tape off, the box pulls open and there is a nice full size foundation in there. Oh, that's cute. The inside of the box says, sorry, I don't speak low maintenance. If that's not Brittany, I don't know what it is. Okay. Like I said, I matched to shade number 60. Um, I'm not even going to try to tell from the bottle because it's a frosted bottle and you can never tell from a frosted bottle what the color actually is. The quiz indicated that I was neutral. Facts. I am. I have a little rosy in my cheeks, but other than that, my skin tone is very neutral. So, props. The bottle has a pump. I really like that. I appreciate a pump on a foundation. It just makes application so much easier. I know just from watching other reviews, you have to shape this really, really well. Let's see. Okay. Well, so far, but we were very clearly told not to use the back of our hand or our neck. And we were also told to wait five minutes. I'm assuming the reason they say not to use a sponge in the email is because you do get m more coverage with a brush because I already went through my two pumps just there. So far though, color's decent. If anything, I think it may be a little dark, but I did put in my quiz that I tend to get darker during this time of the year. Also, I have not self tanned in about a week. So, if it oxidizes, it may be a perfect match during self tan. I'll be honest, I can fix the color on a foundation. Color is nothing that really concerns me as long as it's in the ballpark range, you know? But the things that I am picky on with a foundation is finish and how they wear. If you have a foundation that you have the trifecta, you have all three, you have color, wear time, and they look good on the skin, don't mess with it because you have a unicorn. That thing doesn't exist for most of us, okay? Most of us have to fudge on at least one. I normally have to fudge on color a little bit and end up like correcting with a concealer somewhere or mixing another foundation. But, so far, it's looking a little mm, on camera, but in person, it's looking pretty good, y'all. Okay, the time is 1.40. We are going to wait five minutes and see how much this foundation changes. While we're waiting, I'm going to go to the website and look at the specific benefits and like key factors. Okay. I'm on the Il Maquillage website and I'm going to read a description and then the key facts about the Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation. Woke Up Like This Foundation smooths and evens the skin with an advanced, innovative, 
formula that instantly minimizes the appearance of shadows and pores, effortlessly enhances the complexion, and generates a flawless natural matte finish. Easy buildability meets ultimate blendability in its ultra fluid texture, becoming one with the skin for traceless, uniform, medium to high coverage. Special optically corrective powders blur fine lines, redness, and blemishes while light diffusing spheres deflect attention away from all perfections. Street free in application and lightweight in feel for comfortable wear. That was the description. I feel like that was a lot of words to say it's a medium buildable coverage. Key facts 50 shades for all skin tones. I appreciate that. Good job. Let's keep adding, please, for everybody fairer, darker, and everybody in between. Olive neutrals yes lightweight texture buildable medium to high coverage natural matte finish optically corrective powders Ooh, enriched with vitamin e for anti-aging benefits hyaluronic acid for hydration protection and filling wrinkles yes i am a hyaluronic acid whore like give me all of it please it is a humectant, okay? If you have dehydrated, dry, or aging skin, get you some hyaluronic acid, okay? It is a, mmm, it's gonna attract all the moisture. It's good stuff. I'm feeling better about this already. Okay, 100% cruelty free, awesome. For long lasting wear, pair with a primer or setting spray and you get one fluid ounce. What time is it now? Ooh, 146. So, this has, according to the card, totally developed in color. I'm looking a little pink today. Been out in the sun. In person, it is a much better match than it is on camera, but it is a little bit dark. So, let's see what the concealer is like, okay? Because, this is okay. I'm in self-tan season. I'm self-tanning tonight anyway, so it may, it may work. I love things that have bad words in the name. I don't know why. It's, it just makes me feel good. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, this is the Fuck I'm Flawless Multi-Use Perfecting Concealer. You can tell everything from this brand is really geared toward like the Instagram generation. I am shade number 3.5. The panel here is where you see the color. Um, the shade number is on the bottom and then everything else is this really nice quality silver. This is nice. This is luxe. So that's the concealer swatch. It's like it's a little lighter than the foundation. Let's see. I'm sure... This is meant to go under your eye, but it makes me really nervous because you, you all, if you've watched more than a couple of my vid videos, you know how picky I am about an under eye concealer. Like, so picky in fact that I hardly ever wear product at all under my eyes. For over a year, I didn't wear foundation concealer, powder, anything under my eyes because nothing laid well at all. <sighs> Whatever. We're testing it out, right? Like, I'm never going to know if I don't try it, so might as well. That's, that's why I ordered it. That's what the 14 days is for. All right. I mean, as far as color goes, 
it's okay. I think, just like the foundation, I think when I self tan, I'll like it a little better. I would have liked the option to go just a little bit lighter. Just to brighten a little more, but if you are using this concealer to spot conceal, then you want it to match more dead on. You don't want a super bright concealer to cover up a pimple or a beauty mark or, you know, whatever you're trying to cover up. You don't want to use the same concealer that you use to brighten under your eyes to do that. I can tell already that foundation set a link in my forehead lines. I didn't lay down a primer. This is just foundation. I don't hate it. I think I may start to like it. I want to see I've got a sunspot here and I want to see how that will do covering that. It did an okay job. The thing with covering a sunspot or a beauty mark or something darker is unless I go in there and color correct it first, it's never going to be completely concealed. So what I got from that is okay with me. I'm fine with that. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face like I normally would and then we will talk about my final thoughts, at least per this application. It is 2.12 and I will check back in a little while. Okay. Even in the view, it looks good in the viewfinder, it looks good in the mirror. Like I said, it's just a little dark, but okay, I'm gonna shut up now. I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's about five o'clock, so it's been about three hours. Um, you can definitely tell it's a little bit dewier than it was when I put it on. Also, I didn't do anything super strenuous outside. Let's be honest, I just went back road riding and checked my mail. But I wanted to say the sunglasses marks aren't that bad. Normally, it's like straight to bare skin. Now I can tell that they were there, but that's to be expected. See, it's settled a little bit. There's definitely some texture, but again, that's to be expected. Nothing too, too bad. It's not looking super, super crepey like a lot of concealers can do. Also, up here, I was super concerned because before I set the foundation, it had already settled. But I gave it a little extra buff with the Beauty Blender like you saw in my video, blended that out, set it, and it's fine right now. Anyway, three hours in, it's fine. We'll see, I'll check back in probably before bed. I wanted to do this because we all know that there is no truer mirror than the rear view mirror, right? So I figured car lighting is probably a good like testament to what this foundation really, really looks like. Also the color, I think you can tell a little better here that it's a lot better match than it was in front of my ring light with my DSLR. So, as you can probably tell from the super harsh lighting, there is none outside and it is late in the evening. It is 9.35 to be exact, so about seven hours since I applied this foundation initially, which is about average. Definitely better color match in person than it is on camera, okay? If anything, it's a little too dark 
but that's okay. I'm gonna self tan tonight, try it again tomorrow, and see if I like it a little better. I think that it wore really, really pretty. There's not much settling and creasing under the eye. There's a little bit, but honestly, that's to be expected with any concealer. A little bit of settling in, in my smile lines. Not as much settling in my forehead lines as I expected. And honestly, after the five minutes that we gave it to develop and fully oxidize and, and get its color, I don't feel like the color changed much. Now, I am not a face toucher unless my face itches or something. My hands are not on my face during the day. So, I can't really testify to the walking it, if it's gonna stay or whatever. I do like that it's a little bit dewy because my skin is normal dry. So I don't like a super matte look. However, it did say that it was a very matte foundation. Of course, it came off here where I wore my sunglasses. Again, that's to be expected. It's not terrible though. I'm liking it, y'all. I think I'm liking it. The only thing I touched up before I filmed this part of the video was my lip. I didn't touch anything else. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. Also, I forgot to tell you the concealer retails for $26 and the foundation retails for $44. Both of them are a 14 day trial and shipping was like five dollars so you don't pay anything during that first 14 days 44 26. we'll see if it's worth the investment I'm i'll update you guys tomorrow okay hey what's up everyone so i'm back for day two of the ill maquillage wear test review whatever we're calling it. I'm doing a little different skin prep today. First day, I tried the foundation. I didn't use a primer, I only moisturized. So we're gonna do that a little differently today. I have already moisturized my skin using Clinique's Dramatically Different Lotion. At the very end of the day, there was some settling, especially like on the outer corner area but it wasn't as bad as some other concealers I've used. But I want to see if Fast Response Eye Cream can make that even better. Fast Response isn't a treatment eye cream. It's one of those like immediate, like it's going to immediately depuff. It's going to constrict the blood vessels so you don't look as dark there. Um, and it's got that silicone or dimethicone kind of feel to it where it's going to help fill in any texture and keep product from settling in. So I want to see if that's going to make a difference with how the concealer wears. And Fast Response is also great for like cleaning up a wing. Seriously, you just get like the tiniest amount of fast response on your brush or instrument of choice, cotton swab, whatever. I use the eyeliner applicators and you just clean up that little. First day I wore this foundation, I did not use a primer. Today I'm going to use the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. You just have to make sure that you press it into your skin. That way you get the full benefit from it. Because if you give it this number and you're just rubbing it over, it's not doing anything. It's not filling in the texture that you need it to, right? I'm still going to use the same wet beauty sponge that I used the first time. And again, this is the shade number 60. And now the first time I did this, I pumped the foundation on the back of my hand, picked it up, and then blended it out. That is not how I normally apply my foundation. So this time, I'm doing the spread it all over my face and then blend it out. I think I'm going to end up using a little less product that way. This is the two pumps right now that it recommends using. And I can already tell because I remember yesterday when I used it, two pumps barely did this cheek. 
Like, I think yesterday, all in all, I ended up using like six pumps. Literally, I'm cutting it in half doing it this way. That's crazy. I just can't get over how much less product I'm using today by not picking up the product on the back of my hand. That's insane to me. I take my foundation as far up on my cheekbone as I can get without touching my under eye. And on days that I'm not wearing concealer, that's where I stop. That applicator gets a little bendy. Okay, that concealer is nice and blended and the time it took me to put the concealer on was about five minutes so the color on this foundation it may get a little bit darker but it's pretty much fully developed by this point I'm liking the way everything's looking right now I'm going to go finish the rest of my face off camera I'm going to use the exact same products as far as like the mineralized skin finish and everything that I normally do I don't plan on today being an extremely strenuous day you know, um, it's just going to be a normal quarantine. Am I quarantined or out of work? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, it's just going to be the hang around the house kind of day. Right now, it's 1226. Let's see how long this baby can wear and look this good. Awesome. Okay, I'll check in later. Okay, here I am like four hours later looking real bummy. No, I do feel like it's looking really good. I uh, do you feel like the primer made a lot of a difference? Um, I can't tell on the eye cream. I think it may have, but we'll see. I'm a lot happier with the color now that I've self tanned. I'll check in before bed and let you guys know my final thoughts. Okay, so the time is now 11.54 and it's been about 11 and a half, almost 12 hours since I applied the foundation and for 12 hours I mean I think it's looking pretty good there are a couple of places where it got a little patchy there are some places where it wore off I rub my nose a little bit hello it's allergy season that's gonna happen it's not super flaky I do think the under eye it didn't fade as much under eye it's like the under eye clung really really well and the rest of it faded kind of naturally like foundation normally would so the under eye is looking a little more made up than the rest of the face by this point in the day that's not necessarily a bad thing just take it as you will it's there you can definitely tell a difference where earlier in the day you know the under eye the concealer was nice and blended into the foundation you can definitely tell now that there is a line between the concealer and the foundation final thoughts will i keep it probably it's definitely worth the five dollar shipping to try it out you get two weeks i don't know I'm going to try it a couple of different ways. I think I'm going to try the foundation with some different concealers. I may give up and try the foundation with a brush. We'll see. It's very rare that I actually apply a foundation with a brush, but since that's how it's recommended, who knows? Let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more reviews, let me know in the comments, okay? Have you tried this foundation? Are you interested in trying this foundation? Did this review make or break your decision to try this foundation? Let me know. Let's talk about it, okay? And I'll see you guys next time.